what's going on YouTube. This is Trainer Connor, and that's right, we are here with another Wi-Fi battle video, but here we have Showdown. I know it's been a while, but college, guys. I'm in college. That means a lot of stuff is going on. I need to prioritize a few things. But anyway, we are finally in October, and I finally got my Halloween spirit on because I got Marshago. Thank you, Necrocevo and Ruins Way for giving me Marshago. Awesome stuff. So we got my Halloween spirit on. I have some really good news before we start the battle. Um, of course, this is Showdown, so it's not a regular Wi-Fi battle, but to that, I am actually going to try getting back into Homebrew and Pokemon in general, because I could probably get it back on my schedule, don't get me wrong. Like, I need to figure out a, a better way, like a better system, if you will, to kind of get back into playing Pokemon while doing my college stuff. So that, you know, it balances out. So, I'm going to try getting Cubic Ninja, I'm going to probably get that by next week or so. But otherwise, I'm going to try getting Homebrew. Hopefully it runs well. I know some games or some other methods are not working right now, but Homebrewing with Cubic Ninja is the one that I am hearing about that is the most effective. I know this is kind of bad in terms of hacking or cheating or whatever, but I can't breathe right now. I hope you all understand that. But this way I can battle a lot more. And I guess homebrewing is the general idea of getting people to battling. Because if they can't breathe, how are they going to battle? And, you know, if they've never heard of homebrew, that's shame on them. So that's what I'm going to do. And with that, let's get into the battle. So thank you for listening into the update. I'm, I'm very excited for the future things. I am looking very bright right now. I'm going to say this in confidence. I'm ready to move on. I want to upgrade my channel a little bit and as well as social media. I might be getting Facebook soon. Anyway, so we have a showdown battle. And you see, I have Skarmory, Garchomp, Volcarona, Empoleon, and Clefable, and then let's not forget Mega Manetric. My opponent has a lot of threats here. He's got Garchomp as well, to, to lead off, I guess I should say. He has a Tyranitar, he's got an Excadrill, he's got a Golduck. I haven't really seen a Golduck in a battle as of much, or as of late, but, you know, he's pretty good. Uh, Venusaur, I could go Mega, it could be a regular Venusaur, we don't know, but I'm assuming it's a Mega Venusaur. Uh, and Clefable, and also I can see Garchomp Mega evolving here, and Tyranitar as well. But we got options to kind of consider. So, this should be a good battle, and before, before we start, let's go to slow motion, okay? Slow motion, this way I can tell you a lot about the plays that are going on here. Uh, hopefully the music is off, because that would be terrible, because it would be really loud, I, I noticed before in the past. So, I am going a little bit slower this time, so I can talk things talk things through. So I start with Empoleon, not a good matchup against Venusaur, obviously. So I'm going to switch out going to Skarmory. And my opponent Mega Evolves right away, so it was a Mega Venusaur. That is fine. Uh, he goes for Giga Drain. Not very effective. I assume that it would be the case. Or a Spore. I would be okay with that with Skarmory, because I can always boost off the damage, wherever he does. So I go for Spice. He goes into Tyranitar. And I'm like, okay, what, what does he have? He could have Fire Punch or Flamethrower. I'm okay with Fire Punch. It's not going to do as much. Because Tyranitar, he does have good physical attack, but it's just not going to kill Skarmory for some reason. So I am able to get off my Stealth Rocks and uh, Spikes a little bit there. Go with the Garchomp here, because I know he's going to go for another Fire Punch. Rough Skin and a little bit of the Rocky Helmet. I, I don't think I have a Rocky Helmet. My bad. But anyway, we got a little bit of chip damage on the Tyranitar, which is nice. I'm assuming that Excadrill here can have the Air Balloon. I didn't want to go for Earthquake yet. So I just want to see what he was holding first. So I go for Iron Head on the first attempt. And then go with an Earthquake. Seeing that he does not have the, um, the Air Balloon means I can go with that move. He goes for a rapid spin, which is like, ugh, that, that's unfortunate because Skarmory 
he got up the skull talk and spikes. You get the idea, but we could get them up later. I know that. So here's Clefable. I'm I'm okay with Clefable because I have a lot of answers for that Pokemon, even though it's gonna set up in my face. Yeah, you see here, I go with Cossack, and that was a dumb decision because obviously we all know that Clefable can get oh, unaware. I think it's unaware that makes it so like you get poisoned or burned or frozen. You don't really sustain that at all. You'll see what I mean. You go with the Calm Mind, not, I mean, I'm fine with it. I'm not concerned. If you sets up a lot, that would be trouble. But yeah, you see there, he's not taking any poison damage. That is not really something I want to see right there. I go back into Skarmory, and he goes with Heal Bell. That makes it a lot worse. I, I wasted all that time going for Toxic. God dang it, Clefable. Why is so good? It's in the OU tier for a reason. So I go with Spice. Like I said earlier, we are able to get them back up. It's only one layer, so it's not going to do nearly as much damage as opposed to two, two layers of spikes there. Um, so Clefable is able to knock out Skarmory there. And go with a guard chomp. I want to get the flinch here off the iron head. That'll be a huge, that's a huge game changer as far as the momentum goes. Cause if he went with another moon blast, guard chomp would be gone. Unfortunately, I don't take him out right there with an earthquake. I was pretty sure I could take him out. Had I gone with an iron head, I could have gotten another flinch or maybe I would have taken out the fable. Who knows? But, uh, this is Terrific, because I can go into Minectric and Mega Evolve. I am faster than Fable, obviously. I didn't want to go for Volt Switch. I was considering doing that, because, like, it's the normal way of doing things with Minectric in this scenario, but I noticed he still has Garchomp. If you wanted to switch that in, I can go with a Hidden Power Ice and catch him off guard. But that does not happen. That's okay, guys. That's okay. Um, he goes into Tyranitar after his other Pokemon goes down there. Um, I could have said that a lot better, but no, not today, everyone. I, um, we had a double switch there. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure that's what happened there, right? Yeah, so I get the better end of the deal because I go into Clefable, and we go with a Moonblast to knock out his own guard chomp there. Perfect! That means that my Manechek is open to several attacking moves like Volt Switch now and Thunderbolt. It's gonna be great. The main problem for the battle is gonna be Mega Venusaur. Yes, I do have Volcarona, but Thick Fat. If I have to use Fiery Dance, I have to use a few boosts from the, the Fiery Dance uh, secondary effect, or I could go with Quiver Dance. That is the only way for me to take out the Mega Venusaur. Everyone else, like, say Golduck here. Golduck is hitting the field for the first time in a long time. Uh, I have Giga Drain. So Giga Drain is going to be perfect in this scenario because it's super effective. I'm already setting up. I should be able to take him out, and we do. So I'm at full health now, and I've noticed that my, my mouse is still on the screen. I don't know why. Uh, all right, hopefully that wasn't a distraction. But otherwise, uh, the battle is still going. Nothing too terrible is happening here. I don't want to risk anything here. I don't want this bug buzz to kill. Or I, I mean, I said that wrong in my head. I didn't want to risk the biscuit. I didn't want the bug buzz to have the Tyranitar's health be like really short. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, what if the camera card survives the hit? He might live it and KO me with a stone edge. So I end up going to him electric. Use a few attacking moves there. It's not going to do much because of this special defense from the sandstorm. And we kind of take him to the point where I can use Empoleon. The fact that he's going for Stone Edge right now means that he is Choice Banded or Choice Scarf, but I don't see that happening. I think he's Banded because um, he could have gone with an Earthquake. That would have been a much better play, right? I would have done it, but if I'm Choice Banded, what can I do? Anyways, this is going to come to the wire here. This is the only Pokemon we have to take out at this point. Mega Venusaur. And I have Volcarona and Empoleon. I should have said Empoleon first, but 
Sorry, I'm holding on, but Napoleon is doing his job. He's trying to get this Venus store to the point where Volcarona can finish him off with a fire dance or a bug buzz. Whatever the option is going to be, it really depends on how low the Venus store's HP is. Um, but overall, uh, you'll see who wins, but I had a great time in this battle. Before this, I actually had a battle where this guy had a Smeargle, and he used Spore on my Skarmory. And then I switched out going to Napoleon, and then the guy used Spore again, and then he forfeits, because the Showdown animation, it literally said, you cannot use this because you're in the OU tier. I thought that was funny. I wish I had a screenshot, but I didn't really save the battle, but it was pretty funny. Uh, that goes to show that you cannot, you know, you can't just do that. So I am lucky there. You see that the Venusaur Sludge Bomb isn't going to take out Volcarona, and I used my Fiery Dance and Bug Buzz combo to finish off the Venusaur, and I win this match 1-0, or in this case, 6-5. to five. Whatever you want to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I had a great time in this battle, like I said. Uh, like I said earlier, also... I said that so wrong in my head, but you got the idea. I'm going to try getting back into more battles and uh, get more into the community as a whole because I, I used to do that way back in the day and like I've kind of faded away. But definitely stick around. I am on social media every day on my Twitter account, at trainer underscore Connor. Feel free to challenge me to a battle whenever I'm free. And, uh, yeah. If you guys enjoyed the showdown battle, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, wherever that may be. Have a great night or a great day, trainers. See you later.